Okay, we're looking at properties of number. Now, properties of number, uh, stuff like even, odd, uh, multiples, factors, squares, cubes, um, triangular numbers, um, which actually I haven't listed here. But it's it's all the sorts of things. Yeah, prime. There you go. So from this list, we've got this list of how many numbers there. Pick an even number. Well, I'm just going to go for the first one. Four, there you go. Multiple of 12. Now, multiple is a number that's in the 12 times table. Okay, so I need a number that's in the 12 times table. So that would be 24. Now, a common mistake here is to put 3 and 4 or something like that in for a multiple of 12. Well, 3 and 4 are actually factors of 12. Okay, so just be a little bit careful there. So a factor of 9 would be three or one, you could have one there. Okay, one or three. A square number, now I've got a choice here. Um, square number is the result when you multiply uh, a whole number or an integer by itself. Okay, so square number here, well I could have one, I could have four, and that's it in there. Cube number, it's the result when you multiply a whole number by itself and by itself again. So one times one times one. All right, would be one, or two times two times two is eight, or three times three times three, 27. Okay, so three times three is nine times three, 27. Okay, so there you go, this would be, that's three cubed, that is two squared. All right, now a prime number is uh, a number that only divides by one and itself, only has two factors. Because it's going to have two factors, right? One is not a prime number, okay? The only one in that list there is 19 because all the others are in other values times tables, aren't they? All right, so just be a little bit careful there. You know all those, all right? Um, but just be a tiny bit careful.